Just, just tell us about writers a little bit, and then we'll go back. Okay, here's the thing about writers. It was, I think, last September, and out of the blue, I get a phone call. And it was Eamon from writers. It was sure. New, York, New York City number, so of course I answered it. Yeah. And um, he said, uh, Jeff... Fitchell, yep. he, he told me you're a ringer and you aced this gig. And he doesn't know, he didn't know you? No, never met me. Wow. So um, I never auditioned. I never rehearsed. I showed up at the first gig and that was the moment I met those guys. Really? Yeah, at Crystal Bees and it was packed. Wow. And it was crazy and it was great. That was your first gig, no rehearsal? No rehearsal. Never wow. even met him before. You did learn the songs. Yeah, I learned the songs. The list and but like, what happened was Eamon got sick right before we went on stage and had to go to the hospital. So this is great. Eric Smith, the promoter. Love you, Eric. Great. You are the best. He comes up to me and he goes, you're not canceling. And I went, um, he goes, Jim Morrison's not here. But, right. And he says, go up there and sing the songs. This is hilarious. I so, did not know that. that, that no one did. <laughs> the, only the people that were there know this. So I go, I... I, 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 all I kept thinking was Chris Farley on the Japanese TV show. Oh my God, yeah. I don't know the words. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> and Eric says to me, he goes, listen, here's a pitcher of beer yeah. and a pizza. Yeah. And uh, just get up there and do it. And I went, come on, really? He goes, you can do it. Door songs? Yes. I've never learned the words to a door song in my life. Right. And I learned the songs and I'm still, I have not, not rehearsed with these guys. I just met them 15 minutes ago. Wow. The warm up, the, luckily the warm up band, Sal Icabucci. Thank you, Sal. Oh yeah, yeah he went yeah, he went yeah, over yeah. time. Steve yeah, Montana sure, was the sure. singer. Frank DiCiccio was the drummer. Ooh. Oh my God, I love Frank. Yeah. And it, it, the story—they all just made the list. This story as you went, absolutely. Went. And it's it's really funny because when I showed up, I'm in the back load, and John Pell is loading his drums, yeah. and the other drummer's loading his stuff, and he goes, "I know you." Yeah, yeah. And I went, "You do?" He goes, <laughs> "I was in Oreo." And I went, oh, Frank? Yeah, there he is. Last time I saw you, your hair was black. Now yeah. his hair was all gray. You know, I haven't seen him in 40 years. Sure. And uh, thank God those guys did. They went over time for us. And wow. Really kill and what's funny was I said to Steve right before we went on, I said, Steve, do you know any door songs? He goes, nope. Oh. <laughs> so I get up there and I do all the songs. I sing all the songs. You did? I all did the whole gig. The whole the door stuff? Three piece. I did not know that. Eamon never did the gig. Never did the gig. Wow. And uh, he was he was in the hospital for like two days after that. What happened? He had an AFib, uh, something, something, something nice. like that. Nice. And uh, he was it, was, it was scary. And we're like, you know, he, he, you can't sing. Wow. So he, he ended up going to the hospital. And, uh, he so went, your writer's debut is your the he, singer. Ingram. White knuckle all the way. And uh, Eric Smith, the promoter, sent me a video of it. And you can't tell it. I'm petrified. Wow. Well, you know, but... um. My brother was there. Uh, I'm sorry, my sister was there. My son was there with his girlfriend. They said it was really, really good. Well, I don't doubt that. And I was, <laughs> I can't believe I pulled that off. You know? Amen. Well, you know, I can. And But uh, well, what I will say, the, the first gig I did play with the band, I was astonished at how they sound like the Doors. I've never, I have never seen them in all of my years. You must. Yeah, I bet. Even if you don't like the Doors. I, I do like the Doors. This is... Honestly, pure theater. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. I mean, you don't even have to close your eyes. It, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, well, when, when he called me and he wanted me to, you know, mm -hmm. do the gig, I was like, you know, can I get back to you? you know? yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah. of course. Yeah. So he sent me some videos. And um, what happened to his guitar player? Who knows? Um, oh, no, he, he went to Nashville to be a session guy. Okay. So I don't blame him. I would have done the same thing. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's kind of a cool gig, you know? Yeah. So he needed a guitar player and they, he got me. And, um, I saw the videos. I called him back within a minute and went, oh, yes, I thought. Oh, because you're like, no shitholes. I couldn't. Perfect. I couldn't, but I couldn't believe how much he sounded like Jim Morrison. Hmm. I mean, it's amazing to, yeah, to yeah, me. Yeah. I mean, the hair on my arms was standing up. Yeah, so. that's cool. Wow. And, you, and you're not a huge Doors fan. No, I never point. was. I never. You know what? I always thought Robbie Krieger was really.